Hi friends, this is Anthony Serna here speaking to you from the Big Island of Hawaii. I'm over at the High Car Brawl Vegan Community, also known as Kanikiki. It's a beautiful day. I woke up to a gorgeous purple sky. It was raining earlier in the morning, or throughout the evening actually. And it's been sunny all day actually after this. Had a beautiful, um, beautiful day starting off with fresh papayas, gorgeous and ripe. Uh, I just finished clearing the fence here on the field. This, this area right here is called the Rainbow Hut. The Rainbow Hut's going to be used for um, dormitiles, dormit dormitory style living here for the uh, high carb raw vegan visitors that we get to stay here as well as the work creators and the interns. It's a gorgeous day here in Hawaii and I just want you to think about something today. Um, today's idea at least I'm thinking about is living up to someone else's expectations, disappointments, encouragements, things like that. And one thing that I've noticed is that when we're on our own path, Sometimes we're going we're gonna to meet opposition. And the opposition isn't going to come from enemies or people that really hate us. The opposition is going to come from people that really care a lot about us. Could be our father, could be our mother, our brothers and sisters. It really doesn't matter regarding who it is. What does matter is just realizing what is being said and why it's being said. Oftentimes people live in, in a center of disappointment themselves. They're not happy in their own life. It only makes sense to... To reflect on why someone is unhappy with someone else. It's a projection of fear and um, disappointment. Just, just what it is. It doesn't mean that they don't like you, they don't love you. It, it just gives you an opportunity to actually distance yourself from some of the behaviors, especially when it's coming from a space of fear. And if this person is also unhealthy, whether it be physically or mentally, just step aside. It gives you an opportunity to detach yourself from this person. Temporarily, momentarily, it's what it is. If they discard it, if this person or persons have discarded your path, then it's permission for you to discard their path, or at least parts of it. And I don't mean to be rude or disrespectful. What I'm saying is it's an opportunity for you to leave the nest, to fly off, do your own thing. Say so thank you very much for your words, and forgive me if I find those words to be discouraging or, or words of disappointment or fear. Um, I appreciate where you may be coming from, and I may be confused of where you're coming from with these words, but understand that you've given me enough confidence to fly above. You've given me enough confidence to, to path, to be a trailblazer on my own path. You know, sometimes it doesn't hurt to say that to someone. Say, hey, you know, our contact, if it's a father or mother, you've raised me to become confident. If it's a friend or a sister or brother, You've encouraged me, supported me through your own actions, your own activities, your own examples. This is an opportunity for me to, to, to spread my wings and fly. And I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to drop. I'm going to fall out of the sky. I'm going to stumble hard. What I ask is that you be there just for the experience. You don't have to pick me up when I fall. It'd be nice, but just allow me to fall. Allow me to encourage. And me being the oldest brother of my siblings, I'm I've, I've, guilty of us all the time of, of Maybe not doing the right thing and so forth. Or being a little more protective when I was much younger. So what I'm saying to you, for, for many of those that are on a vegan path, or a high carb bra path, whatever it may be, or even if they're stumbling, you know, high fat vegan, or, or stumbling between vegan and not being a vegan, fall. It's okay. Pick yourself up. Get back up. You know, reach out to someone if you need to, or read a good book, or, or just keep on finding things that are going to improve your your situation and your goal. You don't have to change your, your goal and your final destination, but at least change the strategy. Think about changing the strategy. Know that there's other ways. And if someone tries to trip you up or say things to you that kind of discourage you, say thank you and move on. You know, if they're not on this path trying to support you and encourage you, then then their time with you is over. At least that, that moment. And maybe when, if they change their, their tune and say, wait a minute, I want to be part of this, li this person's life again, that's wonderful. Welcome them in. But if they don't, be thankful for what they have taught you, with the example they've set. You know, I think, I think there's always an opportunity for us to learn, and there's always an opportunity to make mistakes. You know, be thankful for those opportunities, and say thank you to those that have paved your way, have given you a step, have helped you out. If it's the government with government assistance, or in my case, the military, or both, or whatever it is, or military, government, medicine, whatever field you you've had, um, help you in some way. Say thank you and walk past that. There's so much more to, to experience in life than to dwell in, in a space of resentment and disappointment. Thank you. This is your friend Anthony. Take care. Aloha.